Break in. If Tinumbu is not sworn in, Nigeria catch fire. Why see a sound an alarm? Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. According to Vanguard News, a group of Yoruba committed leaders, YCO, has blasted individuals and groups calling for the postponement or complete annulment of the swearing-in of President-elect Hasewaji Bola Metunubu, as required by the relevant statutes in the country. The group knows that the call resulted from the hangover from the heavy defeat suffered in the last presidential election. However, reports showed that if Tunumbu will not be sworn in, on May 29th, Nigeria should get ready to face any outcome of the result. We don't care what the court will say. What we know is that Tirumbo has been declared victorious and the inauguration will be done successfully. The group's position was contained in a comment issued after the meeting in Ikene, Ikene Municipality, Ogun State. Ikene, Ikene Municipality, Ogun State. The comment was co-signed by the group's chairman, Otomba Tayo Onayemi, Barrister Kim Akpomade and the Secretary Otomba Ni Sudia, Chief Diron Bum Bami Wokpa and Chief Chief Mrs. Buki Tunde Wushurinde. The communique read and I quote YCL has noted with dismay the campaign of some individuals and groups to postpone or cancel outright the swearing in of the president elect Asiwaji Bola Metanabu as required by the country's relevant statutes. The group said this was a critical time when each and everyone should work with the president-elect to formulate strategies on how to address the myriad issues facing the nation, including restructuring. It said, these people are busy trying to find ways to thwart a constitutional process and, f and say their efforts are doomed to fail because they are working against the law of a country. Why is he advised such individuals and groups to thoroughly study the statute that govern the electoral processes, adding that they can refrain from reckless and provocative statement and actions in the interests of those self-serving individuals and the nation's overall interest in the nation's democracy the real. They should join forces with other well meaning Nigerians to confront the issues plaguing the country head on. Now this is what I am going to say. Mm -hmm. This is actually what I'm going to say about this. Look uh, if you ask me, hmm? if you ask me, this is what I'm going to talk about this one. Now you are coming out to say, you are coming out to say if there are no swear in Tunubu, say Nigeria will catch fire. Is that not a kind of statement that is inciting? Let's just place um, obedience behind this statement. People will say, okay, no obedience, then make this statement. Are they going to be taken it lightly? So that means they will don't catch fire out. Tunumbu supporters go down commerce and every go down catch up. Now you are coming out to say if Tunumbu is not sworn in, if Tunumbu is not sworn in, that everywhere will catch fire. Is that the right thing to say? Where have you been all this while when people have been giving their comment on how the election went? You coming out to say you don't care what the court says? Absolutely. You mean say you know even? I'm sorry, person where they and will be literate, no, they talk like that. In other countries, the court verdict is law. If the courts don't talk, give court, you don't finish. There is nothing you can do about it. So coming out to say the court is whatever. No. It's not um, possible. All right, so you're bad. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, very rational. Uh, the most irrational people in the whole of West Africa continent. Knowing fully what the Trump can over the country, but yet you're shedding blood for him. Yeah. I'm going to wait you. Very soon, you people come out on the street and begin to beg for food. My dear, you don't need to spell this out to them. The thing is, I just hope that sincerely, everything is going to be fine. Sincerely. We need to be in a country where no matter who ox has got, the right thing is supposed to be done. I'm telling you, not because this person is our person, but because the person did the right thing. Okay. Somebody is saying, are you down to the street of our fire service? Why are they like this now? <laughs> my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Nothing will happen if Tunumbu is not sworn in on the 29th May. Even Nigeria cannot come on faulty foundations. My own, is this people they trusted in Daboski now? Eh? Is this the right way to go? This is certainly not the right way to go. It is as, it's better you advise your man to return the stolen mandate and avast the fire. Wahala. 
Otomba and Tayo and other tribes knows a few Yoruba too well for mouth gone. Just as the census as Yoruba state will burn down, not Nigeria. Besides, if that bonnet comes, few people will start looking for available fight, flights to run away. Blind people in the lots in the hands of dead people, APC, all past criminals party get lost. Mikona, I know they're using Daboski. To me, why don't you reason with these people? I keep saying it, APC brought it upon themselves. Everything really happened today to them. Everything because these people they don't talk anything after after there was I was a call. After I make announced I was a call to number the winner. They don't do anything. They did not. Empty for a twenty you no know, honesty, you know he didn't win the election. And I just manipulated the result for him. Yes, you guys are not even ashamed. Let the fire come down and we shall face it quickly. Who won monkey? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this thing with the medical war and crisis, make I tell you now, making I go ask Sudan how we beat them, or making I ask Ukraine, it is never ever easy. It is never ever easy. The so called Yoruba group is a toothless backing dog. The Yoruba people are the most fearful set of net I have ever seen. Whenever Yoruba man threatens to do something, just sleep with the two eyes closed, nothing is going to happen. All right, you guys are cowards. So even if he didn't win and he stole the mandate, he should be, he should still be sworn in Abi. These are hungry about a group looking for food to eat and to be noticed by Tunumbu. <laughs> okay, well, no Jupiter can stop Tunumbu from being the president of the Republic of Nigeria. The right thing must be done. If the country caused fire, let it catch fire. The swearing in is undemocratic, unjust because the case is still on court. Those who are mischievous are calling for the swearing in. We will destroy all the southeast states the way we destroyed them in 1966. Mark my words. I don't detail on that now. Some people now don't deform. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Something will happen. Something will happen. <laughs> okay. You people will die for nothing because Tony will never be president of this country. Let us start it. You will know that Yoruba destroyed the Igbo again the way people destroyed you in 1966. Uh -huh. All right, at the end of the day, make nobody trust in fire and brimstone. It is sounding funny now. Huh. In around the talk, I'm, it is not going to be funny when it starts. So nobody will be able to open their doors to receive over 200 million Nigerians fleeing. You know? I don't tell you that. The word is enough otherwise. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.